I've got too much refereeing left in me um, and that there's no way that I was going to allow myself to be finished from refereeing on a, within a situation like that. I want to finish on, on, a, on a, a season where I know mentally and physically that that's enough for me. I'll put the, um, you know, the, the avenues in to, to be able to sort of exit the game and, and, and take up other things, but I'm, I'm nowhere ready for that. Yes, I went through the mill. Um, I think I'm a better and a stronger person for that. And that's as well because of the support I've had from, from colleagues across the game, friends and family. But um, you know, I'm, I'm not ready to give up the game yet. And, and I, I wouldn't do because of a situation as, as per the Ipswich Towns and that. And, uh, One of the things that I love is, is the, the dressing room environment. And what I mean by that is you could have the match officials are appointed the week before. You, you have your communications before you get to the game, get to the ground. But once you're in the dressing room environment, you could have a chief executive officer sat to your left. You could have a, a senior police officer sat to your right. You in the military. It, it doesn't matter what your background is. We're all the same. We're all in it because of our, our sort of conjoint passion and love for refereeing. You know, when you're out on that field, when you <laughs> witness from five, five, ten metres, someone do a, a piece of a fantastic skill and then hit a ball and strike into the top corner, you, you feel almost like you scored that goal yourself. It's just a wonderful thing to be involved in. Once we retire from the game, I think it's a it's a huge, a huge area of your life to try and, and, and a massive void to try and refill. And uh, ultimately, I'm not looking forward to that. pre-season it's, it's it's really weird and, and despite you going week to week and we've been in this this situation for a long time now it, it doesn't get any easier because there are um there are no fans in then there's been more away wins for the for the teams than ever before and that's obviously because you've you've, you've got no home advantage you, you could be anywhere we are obviously straight down the middle for for every game but when there's a home crowd in or that there's a bit of atmosphere for us as match officials, whether you've got a flag in your hand or a whistle in your hand, it actually lifts you as a, as a match official and, and the excitement of the, of the fans, be it home or away, for whatever's happening, you, you're embroiled in that and it, and it lifts you as a match official. So I think we're all missing that. I mean, yeah, as a match official, you're there to be shot at um, from the fans and, and, and take the, the, the raft of those, but we're, I think we're all missing it um, and, and can't wait for the fans to return, to be perfectly honest. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this.